What's up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over the quickest way to farm XP, mod components, and enhancement cores. We all know what mod components are. You could buy a ton of mods with them from both Banshee and 801. Today we're going to be going over a pretty good way that I've been doing for the last few months. And I just wanted to share it. So what I normally do is I'd go to the tower and go to Banshee here, and then I'd pick up four, I'd pick up his daily mods, which give two enhancement, or mod components, <laughs> one enhancement core, and a butt ton of XP, like 10k or something. Then what I do, after I pick up those bounties, is I get the weapons needed. As you can see, I need Pulse Rifle, Trace, Machine Gun, and Void Weapon. So, Void and Pulse, I use my last prediction, something. For the trace, I'm going to be using Cold Heart, and then I'm going to be using Air Apparent, which I don't know if it's up yet, but I still have the video on it. Then what I do is I go to the Winding Cove here in EDZ. This, at least in my opinion, is by far the best place to do gunsmith bounties. There's a number of reasons. First being that if you have like a weapon like Machine Gun, Rocket, Sword, there's a public event flag that happens every so often. Which you can get, you can get full super, full ammo, and especially full heavy ammo, which is really helpful when trying to do those bounties specifically. The next part is is I don't know why, but it's just a little crazy on one of the things. So right, really quickly here, I'm just gonna pick up the flag, full ammo, and normally I like to do the main. The main weapon first, so like the pulse rifle, the weapon that costs primary ammo. So then I come over here to the back corner. Normally I head up into this area. And I just start killing things. Now, why this area? I'll tell you in a second. See, the reason I do this area is I clear, I clear out this entire spot. Everything. And then I can head up here. And there's two shanks and a drag up here. Which normally when a public event is not happening. Everything down here would already be respawned for you to kill again. And then same thing. When you kill everything, everything up there will be gone. Or everything up there will be back. This is just a pretty, pretty good area. And I highly recommend it. And if you do every, the bounties every day, that's 8 mod components a day, 4 enhancement cores, and about 50,000 XP. And that's just on one character. You ha Remember, you have two completely other characters. At least I hope. Personally, I do. But I only do them on my Hunter because it's just annoying doing them on all three characters. Unless I have mods that I need to get. Now with 801 selling only armor mods and Banshee selling only weapon mods... I definitely have a lot of weapons, or a lot of mods that I need to get since I missed seasons 4 through 11. So I have a lot of mods that I'm going to need to get. Either way, this spot is just really good, really helpful, and I don't know, there's also a public event, as I said. Especially, like you can get, like see there's a bounty, you can get free stuff from that, especially if you're in a clan at level 2, my next video will be covering the clan stuff I don't know it's, it's just a good spot in my opinion I definitely recommend it especially if you're in need of enhancement cores and you don't really feel like spending a ton at the spider I definitely recommend this spot it is really helpful anyway thank you guys for watching this video I hope you enjoyed if you did please smash the like button and subscribe to both my channel and my my editor's channel his links will all be in the description pixar thief is definitely a really cool boy anyway see you guys 